Praise the Lord. We are excited because we were just worshiping and we can just keep going and going because the glory is here. The love of God is here. And that's what it's about. Because tonight we're talking about sons of pure love. Last time we talked about the sons of God. And the sons of God, they're called to be sons of love. Because at the end time, sons of God, they're learning to live where? In the glory, in the glory of God. Because His banner over us is love. And love is part of the glory of God. Many years ago, God spoke about this day, the days ahead. I was in Denmark and God showed me that one day the move of God was going to be very powerful all around the world. And the later the Lord said to me, but the power is going to really flow through the sons who live in the pure love of God. Amen. And this has to do with being a true worshiper from heart to heart with the Father. And the Father wants us to have encounters with Him now. There's been a day of learning to do what? Soaking, soaking in the presence of God. And now God wants to teach you to come up in the realms of glory where you encounter Him, where you see Him in the Spirit. Because it says in the book of Joel that my sons and daughters, they shall see, they will have visions, they will have dreams. And so this is, a, this is an end time anointing that's being poured out. And we see that in the book of Revelation, Revelation 10 and 11, that the last day bride will learn to live in the spirit and they will have these encounters. And so the last few weeks I had myself a very beautiful encounter with the Lord and I drew a picture of it and the picture is about this, it's about the throne of God. We are called to come and learn to live in the throne of God where the living water is flowing. We have that on here, we, we see the living water flowing from the throne of God. And God wants us to come and learn to live where? In His heart. We are learning to live where John learned to live too. On the bosom of the Father. And I'm going to read the scripture to you because this is a heavenly pattern. And John learned about that because he saw how Jesus lived in the glory. And he understood what Jesus talked about. For it said in John 1, verse 2, 18, no man had seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, He had declared Him. Jesus was in the bosom of the Father. What does it mean? It means I and the Father are one. 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 Amen. We are called now to learn to live in the unity of with the spirit of adoption, which cries, Abba Father. Abba Father. But today still too many believers, they still live in the spirit of slavery, a spirit of being Orphans. empty, fear, bondage of fear, often spirit. So God wants us to learn to live in the throne realm so that in the last days we will stand because the fear is being thrown over us more and more and that is what Jesus Christ said he said in the last day men would run through and fro for fear but the Bible says for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power love and a sound love. mind and so we need to learn to live in the power of God, in the love of God, 
and let our mind be renewed so that we are having the helmet of hope upon us. Amen. That keeps us sane. Mm -hmm. To die, we need sanity mm -hmm. because all these lives are flowing. But if we live under the shadows of the wings of the Most High, we shall be strong mm -hmm. and we shall know our God. Amen. 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 And so the New Testament is all about learning to live in the love of God. So God is raising up sons of pure love. John was an apostle of love. You see that John was an apostle of love. In John 13 verse 25 it says that John put his head on the bosom of, the bosom of Jesus. Because he understood that Jesus and the Father were one. So he wanted to be one with Jesus. You are called to be one with Jesus. Amen. 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 So God has given this beautiful song. As the Father loves me, so I love you. Abide in my love. Abide in my love. This is what the Father wants. That you learn to abide in his love. And therefore you need to learn to live in the heart of the Father. John had learned this. John became really strong. He was the only disciple that stood by Jesus at the cross. Yeah, all the others had fled, but John was there. John was at the feet of the cross with Jesus' mother. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, John, please look after my mother. Mm -hmm. John was an apostle of love. Mm -hmm. He was a true son of pure love. Mm -hmm. Greater love has no man that he laid down his life for his friends. John understood that that perfect love cast out all fear. He didn't run from the cross. He was near the cross. Mm. And that is where Jesus wants to bring us. That we learn to live in victory out of the heart of God. Amen. 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 So John understood that Jesus was at the bosom of the Father. Jesus who is majesty. Amen. It says in in 2 Peter 1, we saw His majesty. Jesus was radiant. He was shining. He was full of glory. Why? Because He was one with the Father. He had His head on the bosom of the Father. And now they saw Him. He was shining in radiant light. Yeah? And that's what God wants to take you and me. That we learn to do what? Lay our head on the bosom of Jesus. And then learn to drink in the love of Abba, Father. Whereby all the abandonment breaks. All the loneliness goes. All the fear goes. Why? Because perfect love casts out all fear. Amen? Amen. Amen. And this is so important to die. That you come into what? Into the heart of God. That you learn to do what? To soak. To soak in His presence. Where there's abandonment in you. Where there's hurts. Where there's brokenness. Jesus has an answer. He said, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. To do what? To heal the broken heart. And Jesus wants to do that for you and for me. Amen. When I was a young believer, a young pastor, we had started this church. And I wanted to do a lot of evangelism. And the Lord said, no, Nicholas, don't do evangelism now. I want you to be in my presence. And I learned to soak in the presence of Jesus, to drink from him. I had done evangelism. We had, I'd been on the evangelism team. We went with 50 evangelists through Europe, sharing Christ 
and we saw many salvations. And I had been in Africa, I've done outreach, seen people come to Christ. But at that time, the Lord said, Nicholas, now I want you to come deeper in my heart, in my heart of love. So that you learn to soak. What does that mean? Drink of the river. You see that? We have here the river. Learn to drink of the Jehovah Jireh, of Yahweh Nisi, who is our, our banner. He is our provider. Learn to drink of Yahweh Shalom. He is your healer. He is your lover. He wants to, to, to totally bring sanity to your heart out of the Holy Spirit, the river of God. He is Yahweh or Jehovah Rafa. That means he's your healer. And, and he wants you to drink from that. Go deeper. That's where the healing is. In the spring of life. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have to learn to come in the spring of life. Amen. He is the spring of life. Amen. And out of that, we will see others people experience the life of God. Amen. Amen. So Jesus said, a new command I give to you, that you love one another. If we have not been at the heart of the Father, if we are still living in an awful spirit, can we then love one another in the body of Christ? No, because it's head knowledge. It has to become revelation. It has to be revealed to you. This is why we need dreams. This is why we need visions. Mm -hmm. This is why we need encounters. So it goes from my head. So it goes from the word to a head, to a heart. So a heart is changed by his love. A new command I give to you, John 13, verse 34 and 35. That you love one another. Why? Because God is Pure love. This is what the scripture says. 1 John 4. Read it all. Meditate on it. And you see that he that is in love is in God. Amen. For God is love. That's what the scripture says. So we need to come in that love of God in a very deep way. Why? Because the whole New Testament is built upon what? Upon the love of God. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Yeah, the, this is grace. Love is grace. And by grace we are saved. The commandments are here to do what? To show that we are sinners. That we need what? Grace. Grace is the outworking of the love and the glory of God. So we can be saved. So we can be redeemed. And that redemption needs to go deep in a whole being, body, soul, and spirit. And as we learn to abide in the heart of God, and we are changed in that glory, then we will learn to love one another. For the commandment in the Bible is not anymore, you shall not steal, you shall not lie. The commandment to die is this. To it is the new commandment to love one another. Yeah? Which is the fulfillment of all the other commandments. Jesus showed it to us. He died on the cross for us. He gave his blood. Why? Because he lived by the commandment of love. To love one another. And he fulfilled the commandments. The ten commandments. You shall not steal. You shall not lie. You shall not murder. Are the commandments still here? Yes, they are. And I can prove it in the scripture. But Jesus fulfilled it. And as we learn to live by the love and the grace of God, we will not steal. We will not lie because we love God. You will love him and you will love your brother. And this is what will bring the world to show that we are true disciples. That if we love one another. Amen. Amen. And then we will love what? Our neighbors. Because love is the fulfillment of the law. 
And so we live by the commandment of love because we now not only know it with our head, but as we are sulking in His presence, we are filled with the fruit of love. And because we are changed. And then we press in and then we know we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. And then we start to experience the Father heart of God in heaven. Because we are seated in heaven. And we, out of the heavenly realm, learn to pray and worship and see things on the earth broken. Because God's angels will be loosened out of this glory realm. For His banner is love. Amen? Amen. So Psalms 2 verse 4 says, He brought me to his banquet table because his banner his banner of me is love. love so God wants not only your heart to be in love he wants you you to live in love totally experience it in your whole being because it's his banner and so his banner is a breakthrough banner also for others that you learn to to break through in the love of God that, that you are so full of God that you want to share it with others. Yes? Then we're not afraid for the sin that's in the world. I talked with some sinners of light. They were doing sin. But I shared the love of God. And they were not offended. They were listening. They were listening. Sunday I saw a lady who was living in sin shift in one moment. She was weeping. Why? Because we are carrying the glory. She received some deliverance. She wants to grow now. Why? Because our banner is love. And we are raising it up. And we're seeing people change. Why? Because we are called to be sons of pure love. The whole creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. And so God is going to use the real sons and daughters of love to worship Him, to lay our life down as lovers. And then we raise the banner of love and we are reaching out to the lost. Amen. 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 We have to not only be together here, we have to go out to the streets. Sunday night we were on the streets, we were giving out food with fishes of men. To the hungry people. We're praying with the people on the street. These are sinners. Deep in, living in deep darkness. Drug dealers. We are waving the banner. The banner of love. Because we are sons of love. And God is setting people free. We are seeing people seem set free from strong demonic strongholds. Why? Because we are raising the banner of love. The banner of glory. The banner of the seven spirits of God, which are burning in us. And out of it, God is raising up His sent them army. And you can be part of that army. Let that love go deep. Learn to soak in His presence. Amen. 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 So God bless you, and I pray for you right now. Father, I just pray for everybody. Lord, that they learn to soak. That they learn to wait on you. Lord, we have times to wait for two hours on you in your presence, three hours, that the hurts and the wounds are being healed. Father, I pray that for the brothers and sisters around the world. Let your love burn on them. Let your love come over them. Yes. Heal them. Give them desires to be sons of love, daughters of love, mm -hmm. so they can raise that banner because they have confidence. Because this is the confidence of faith. That has overcome this world. And that's why we pray for them. We loosen that glory over their lives. Holy glory. Holy pure love. We loosen it, Lord, that they will rise up. And we give you all the glory that you're doing tonight. And Father, we thank you for this glory. We give you praise for tonight in Jesus Christ's name. And amen. 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 And so we, have, we are sharing this tonight from this book. Daystar and Time Army, it's on our website. You can get it for free. It's on daystarandtimearmy.com. It's for free. You can download it and print it out. And it's also in Indonesian. So, you, so if you want to read it in Indonesian, you go 
to our Indonesian website. Bintangfajar.com So thank you very much and God bless you. Shalom.